welcome back to another video on my channel so today's tutorial will be on these four nail art designs all using gel and all using magpie beauty products so we're going to begin with applying cotton candy if you were doing these on natural nails you'd go in with your all about the base base coat and if you're applying it over acrylics you would just go in with your color so applying one color of that curing for 30 seconds and then we're going in with magpie glitter faith and the applicator brush and applying this on that half cured gel colour. So I find with the supercharged holographic collection of glitters I find dabbing them on like this and then slightly burnishing them, not fully burnishing but just giving them a rub, getting rid of all that excess glitter is the best way to make that holographic shine through. It looks really beautiful. Going in now with my duster brush, also from Magpie Beauty, and getting rid of any of that excess. This is after curing for the rest of that 30 seconds. Going in now with Magpie Beauty Let It Shine Top Coat, floating that first layer over the top of that glitter, curing for 60 seconds. I'm now going in with some crystals. I'm gonna use some Give It Strength and I'm gonna pop that just at the cuticle area. Now, I didn't realize, I thought they would show up more than this, but they didn't, so if I was to do this again on someone's nails, I probably wouldn't bother. But they do add a little bit of extra sparkle, but just applying them in to give me strength, curing for 60 seconds, applying a second top coat, butting right up to those crystals, and then curing in the lamp for another 60 seconds, and that nail's all done. It's so beautiful beautiful and so sparkly I love it so next now we're going in with Woe Nelly again applying one layer of this magpie gel colors are so pigmented and full coverage you really only need one coat they're amazing curing that in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds then we're going to go in with this clear jelly stamper plate number seven my original clear jelly stamper diamond stamper I love it because it's clear, you can see right the way through. My scraper also from Clear Jelly Stamper. Now I didn't show you, but this is a model's own polish. It's one of their chrome collection. Picking up that image and placing it on the nail. And if you get anything, I've already wiped this nail so it's tack free. If you get anything on the nail, you can just go in with a little cotton pad and wipe it away. But I'm going in with Hit the Bottle Tavern to Gold. I'm applying my second layer. So this is like a layered stamping plate, it's really cool. You can create some really awesome designs. Going in and applying that directly over what we have just done. So it creates that double layered effect, really nice. The colors that I chose are really subtle, but it looks so pretty. And that's done. Top coating with Let It Shine Top Coat. I normally do two layers when I'm doing artwork just to make sure it's really sealed in curing for 60 seconds between each layer and that nail is done so next nail we're going back in with cotton candy applying again a nice even layer of this to the nail and then that will go in the lamp for half a cure of 30 seconds because we're going in with magpie beauty glitter in lily so again, I'll be dabbing this onto the half cured gel into the tacky layer, applying this all over, dabbing it again, and then just brushing off some of that excess, making sure I've dabbed it in fully. After curing for the rest of that 30 seconds, dusting off with my Magpie duster brush, top coating the first layer floatily, if that's a word, and then curing that for 60 seconds. Going in with a stamping plate, number three from the Festive Collection from Moyu London. Going in with my stamping polish, which is white, and it's from Clear Jelly Stamper. Scraping that image. Picking it up on my stamper and applying, and I've wiped that nail off with some cleanser so it's tack free. So now I'm going to go in with some Give Me Strength and just apply a dot of this at the centre of each of those little snowflake star things. I don't really know what they are but they're pretty. 
So I'm applying that in the centre of all of those because then I'm going to go back in with those same crystals and apply them to the centre of each of those little stars. It's quite a quick design to do, although you're having to do it on multiple nails, it's quite quick and easy to do so it's a good nail to do if you haven't got time but your client wants a pretty nail art design this is quite quick and easy to do. So after that that's going to go into the lamp for 60 seconds secure, going back in with my top coat applying two layers of this and curing 60 seconds between each layer and that nail's done. I love this. I think this might be my favourite. <laughs> Last nail going in with Wonelli as a base again. Only needing to apply one layer so that will be cured for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. Now I'm going to go in with some plain Jane, pop a little bit of this on my palette going in with a Magpie Beauty Nail Art Striper Brush, which is amazing, phenomenal. Get your hands on this, your nail art will look amazing. Creating one big stripe down the middle of the nail, and then two little lines down the edge. Cure for 60 seconds, and then I'm applying some Give Me Strength in the center of that nail. We're gonna create a ball ball. So I'm using Susie, and I'm literally sprinkling some of that on the nail, curing for 60 seconds, and then dusting off any excess. I'm also going in with a little dotting tool to go around the outside to make it a really crisp line. Dusting off again, then going back in with that Give Me Strength and applying some directly over the top of where we've just put that glitter to really seal it in and to give it a 3D effect. It looks really, really cool like this. There you go, you can see how high it rises. Curing that for 60 seconds. I'm going back in with some Give Me Strength, putting two dots at the end of the little white lines, back in with those beautiful crystals and applying two crystals, curing for 60 seconds. Now I felt like it needed to come down, the design needed to be brought down a little bit, so I went back in with my Plain Jane from Magpie and applied a little bit of that, added some dots, they're kind of like little icicles with gems on. If I was to do this again, I don't think I'd do those two outside ones. I think I'd leave it as just that one main ball ball in the middle of the nail. I think that looks really pretty. It almost looks a bit much with the two either side. But you know, you always self-criticise, always so critical of your own work. <laughs> and then just going in and creating the little bow above the ball ball. I think it's with details like this that it really pulls the design together. Sometimes I find if you leave it, it doesn't look quite finished. So I find turning it upside down really helps me with the other side. So I pop it, turn it round, and then I can do the other side really easily. So once that's done, I cure that so the white cures for 60 seconds. I love this striper brush, it's really good for getting those fine lines. So yeah, that's all done. And then I'm gonna go in with my Let It Shine top coat and cover the whole entire nail. These crystals are not Swarovski, they are acrylic. Um, so you can cover straight over the top of them. And you can see that how 3D it is. So that's all four nail designs done. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you'd like to see more nail art tutorials, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And thanks so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.